sneaky little spec tonight. Yeah, tonight again. Third, third time in it. Is it third time or second time? I can't remember. Tonight we've got Luban two. 1210 beta 2. Yeah, I know I've done uh, Zubantu earlier. But I thought we'd get Lubantu out there as well. Because it also has got some nice new artwork. It looks really, really nice and cool. Uh, really, it's a, a big step up from the last one, in my personal opinion. Okay. LXD, of course. LXD stands for Light X11 Desktop Environment. So it's really, really light on your stuff, you know. So you should be able to run it on older systems with the newest Bantu, yeah. Okay, go to a menu. I'm basically I'm just going to go to System Tools. I'm going to go to Task Manager first. And as you can see, it's only using 115, 116 megs of my RAM. My CPUs are not doing anything at all. So it should be able to run really, really good on anything you want to run on it. Okay, where do we start? Okay, time, date. Exit and shut down menu. Yeah, we don't want to do that though. We're going to cancel that. My ethernet connection, my sound and volume, lovely. Works out of the box, no problems whatsoever. Whatever. Your basic browser has choices, Chromium, as you can see here. And you've got a file manager here as well, and your desktops and stuff like that. Man, menu here, right? We'll start again. Under accessories, bearing in mind it's LXD, we get archive manager, catfish as usual. The file manager is PC Man FM. It works, it does what it says on the tin. Get a calculator, an image viewer, leaf pad for text editing, LX terminal, and X pad for jotting down some notes just in case you forgot some stuff when you're old like me. And the games, they're all penguin games, are all basic games. You can download lots more, it's all up to you. It's been really, really stable. It's been using it for a good few hours now, non stop. Because it only came out not long ago, to be really honest with you. But you do get a document viewer for PDFs. I've installed Gimpage, okay, I'll open Gimpage up for you, and while I'm installing well, open it, I'll have a bit of drinkage, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. A bit apple tonight. Now, unfortunately, it didn't open in the, in the one screen section. Uh, 2.8 is supposed to work well in one screen, but hey, this one didn't, but you can set it to do that, with whatever you want to do, but it works, yeah. Download it, it works, so the download section actually works. Get MT Paint and Simple Scan for doing your scanning. And Internet, Chromium, as I said before, is your basic browser. I've added Firefox. Pitching for Internet Messaging and Slyford for your mail client. Now, I don't actually mind Slyford. It's really easy to use. It's light, basic, but it does what it says. And Transmission, if you want to do BitTorrent stuff. That's not for me, really, and I don't really use BitTorrents or anything like that. It's just the sort of guy I am. We get Abbey Word and Genumeric, so we're going to open Abbey Word up. And then we're also going to open up, we'll go back again, and Genumeric at the same time. Not that I need to, but I'm just going to show you. As you can see, it's really nice, quick, snappy, easy to use. I really love it. About its 1.10.17, the latest and greatest for Genumeric. And as for Abbey Word, we're going to help again. Abbey Word, it should be 292, and it is. Can you see how quick it is? It's really, really quick, and I'm actually recording at the same time. No problem whatsoever. Okay. Uh, and I say in the video, I've installed OpenShot because I just want to make sure it worked basically. It's not the latest and greatest, but if you want the latest and greatest OpenShot, you're going to have to do the PPA, okay? But this one does what it says on the tin, but you will have to install Blender and probably point it to the direction it needs to go. But it does work. Nice, super fast. Really, really fast. Apparently, Ubuntu is one of the most downloaded Ubuntu's, okay? Because it's really light and easy on your stuff, isn't it, really? And it does what it says on the tin at the end of the day. A bit like Peppermint and stuff, they're all based on it. And, you know, you know where I'm coming from. Anyway, System Tools. You get GW Package Manager. It needs to be there. The Lubuntu Software Center. Yes, a software updater. Bearing in mind, if you've got other drivers, you will need to go here and go to your software sources and install your additional drivers, okay? Synaptic is here also. System Profile and Benchmarker, Task Manager, I've already shown you, and a couple of terminals. Under Preferences, you get Bluetooth as standard, so you can check out your Bluetooth stuff. Just to link up your phone or whatever you want to do. And under Software Sources, I'll open it up for you, just so you can see... A little bit of drinkage while it's doing it. It is always slow on every Buntu or the 1210s that I do this. So we'll just have to wait. Here it goes. Mm. So of course, if you want additional drivers, you click here and it will do it all for you. You may have to click on the software center to download some extras as well, but hey, it will do it all out of the tin. Which is what we really want, isn't it? Yes. 
Okay, anyway. You just get monitor settings, keyboard stuff, all basic LXDE stuff. Yes, all basics. So, we're going to go to the Lubuntu Software Center. Now, some of you don't actually like this. Actually, it's come on really leaps and bounds this time around. It's a lot easier to use. Yes, I know it doesn't look too brilliant at the moment, but by the time the real release comes out, I think it'll be really, really cool. So if I click on audio and video, for instance, there's plenty here for you to download. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to download one thing for you just to show you how it works and what you can see and what you can't see. Bloody, bloody, blah, blah, bloody, 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 blah. I'm just scrolling, 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 scrolling. Oh, it's a ball it now. I don't want it's a do it. Because it wasn't Constantinople, was it? No, I can't remember now. I'm going to scroll down. Oh, music. Oh, right, okay. Music. Never heard of it. I'm going to double click on it and have a little look. A simple music player. Okay, I'm going to add that to my app basket. This is our Lubuntu, it differs from a lot of the other Ubuntu's. You get an app basket. So I'm going to add that. Sounds good to me. There's my app's basket up here, so we'll open it up. Now, as you can see, not only do you get music, but you get all the extras here, and it shows you how it does it. So I'm going to install them packages. Click on install. Put my password in. Which is 1245 which it isn't. And now it's going to download it all for us and then install it. I'm going to open up the details for you so you can see what it's doing. I'll drag it up. Drag it up. Reach that database and starts installing that stuff. Sounds nice, isn't it? It's nice, though. No? I really like it. Oh, nice drinkage. Now, as you know, I really do like LXD and XFC anyway. They are my um, stuff of choice. For a simple reason. I don't like a lot of bloatware. The kids love bloatware with Unity and and KDE. I just don't. It doesn't do what I want it to do. So that's why they have their own machines. But I really love the new artwork. It's really nice. Whoever made that, well done, son. Well done. Anyway, sound and video. Let's see music. I'm going to open it up. I mean, you could get Rhythm Box or whatever Banshee, whatever you want to do. Look at music, music, this is Kenton Music Collection. I've got no music collection here at the moment because I'm keeping these all on. And we'll see how it goes at the end of the day, okay? Really nice though. Really, really nice. Lubuntu 12.10 Beta 2 is really, really recommended for me. It's so bloody fast. It's unbelievable. Really, really fast. I mean, if I could, I would actually go from XFC to LXDE. But it just doesn't do some of the stuff I really need to do. But for most of you, this would be really, really nice to use. Lovely. Sneaky looks at not giving it a score, but if it was, it'd be 98.5%. I'm gone. See you later. Bye-bye.